Hey there, class. We got practice problems for 1.5 on the way here. And let's dive right in. Problem number one. We have rectangles P, Q, R, and S. And they are scaled copies of one another. So that tells us a lot of information. Uh, if they're scaled copies, then they look a lot like each other, but they're possibly different sizes. All right? So we got all of our P, Q, R, S right here. And for each pair that they're going to have us compare, it wants us to decide if the scale factor from one to the other is greater than one, equal to one, less than one. Okay, so you might want to write this down. If it's greater than one, it's going to get bigger. If it's equal to one, then that means that they stayed the same size. And if the scale factor is less than one, that means that they got smaller. All right, that's what we talked about in class on Tuesday. So let's let's start. P to Q. So if I go from here to here, it got bigger, so that is going to be a greater than 1 type situation. Right? All right, let's do another one. Uh, P to R. P to R. Once again, got bigger, so greater than 1. Next one is Q to S. This one got smaller, so that has a scale factor less than 1. Uh, Q to R. Q to R, that would be from here over here. That's getting bigger, so greater than 1. All right, S to P, that's coming this way, and those look identical, so that would be equal to 1. And then R to P, get the idea. This one's getting smaller, P to S, same size. I, I think you can take it from there. I'm not going to write down every one of those. I think that's super easy. Number two, triangle S and triangle L are on grid there, and they are scaled copies of one another. Our job is to part A, find the scale factor from S to L. So going from here to here, let's do some counting. This is two blocks wide, and this is one, two, three, four blocks wide. So... That means that they are multiplying the side lengths by 2 to get there. Therefore, our scale factor is 2. Pause. Emily Miller to the office. Emily Miller has got to go to the office. Okay, so we multiply by 2. That's our scale factor. We learned that to reverse scale factor and go back from L to S, which is what they're asking about on part B, that we take 2's reciprocal. So we have to think, what is 2's reciprocal? That would be just flipping that fraction upside down on itself. And to get back, we would multiply by one half because two is half of four. So reciprocal relationship between those two. Now part C is going to have you imagine that they had another triangle on here. So triangle M. It's been scale copied. And it probably would look something like this if I was to draw it. All right. But it's there. It's been scale copied by a factor of three halves, which means that it's one and a half times bigger, which is why it's kind of between what the original one was and this one. What would I do? What would the scale factor be to go back from M back to S? We just talked about it. It would be the scale factors reciprocal, which would be that fraction flipped. So we have part A was two, part B, we answered that was one half. What would be three halves reciprocal? Because that's what you need to write down there for part C. And I'll let you handle that. All right, number three. So we've got uh, two squares, same sides, same size. All right, so let's just draw a picture of that. I got a square, and I have an identical square beside it. The question is, are they scale copies? So let's just make up some sides. Let's say it's a two by two square. Are these scale copies? Can they be scale copies of each other? What would you say? Yes or no? Well, I would say yes. And the reason why I would say yes, because we got to have an explanation, is because there is a scale factor, and that scale factor is 1. I can multiply by 1 to get from side to side. It's okay to have a scale copy that's an exact replica. That happens on occasion. And so, yes, explain your reasoning. You could say, yes, the scale factor is just 1. All the sides stay the same, something like that. All right, and then number four, we have quadrilateral. Make sure you put something there. Don't just write yes if you want full credit. Quadrilateral A has side lengths of two, three, five, and six, and quadrilateral B has side lengths of four, five, eight, and ten. Okay, 
So A's side lengths correspond this way. All right, for A, we have 2, 3, 5, and 6. And for B, the side lengths are 4, 5, 8, and 10. The question is, could these two quadrilaterals be scale copies of each other? All right, uh, could they be a scale copy of the other? And the first thing you're going to look for is all the sides have to have a common scale factor. So I'm going to look here. Times 2, right? Well, is 3 times 2, 5? Eh, no, they're not. It's not going to be the same because every side has to get doubled. And it only worked for the first one. All the other ones are going to be something weird or different. So they're not scale copies. So you need to say something like, no, not all of the sides have the same scale factor multiplied to get the ones in quadrilateral B. Something along those lines. Okay? So make sure you explain in your own words. Make sure it makes sense. I kind of gave you a good sentence right there audibly, but you can write on paper. Don't just write no. You will not get full credit, okay? And I'm not going to write it down, so you can just copy after me. Do some work, people. It's okay to do work. All right, let's, um, let's end it right there. That's the end of 1.5. Yeah, I don't have to do any more problems for this video. So I hope it was helpful, and good luck finishing your homework. See you guys later.